uh, tutorial for beginners. In our previous video, we saw how we use arithmetic operators and math library to make our task easier while writing a Java program. But arithmetic operations are not enough for all the things that you will need to do while writing a program. So we get to relational and logical operators that we'll discuss in today's video. Now, there are different types of relational and logical operators, starting off with unary operators. So unary operators are two plus symbols for increment and two minus for decrement. Now, they are also further classified to pre-increment and post-increment. So let's quickly see how we use them. Let's say we create a variable, integer 1, and initialize it to 20. Now inside, let's say we want to increment this value by just 1. So we say plus plus integer 1. Now when you run it, you see the output 21. So since you have said plus plus, you are incrementing the variable before printing it out. So that's why this is called as pre-increment. Now if the same thing you do again, but this time you do plus plus later. So this is called as post-increment. What this will do, this will print your value first, but then increment it. So if you do this and then again write integer 1. Now your output will be 21 because in the first line we are pre-incrementing and then printing. So you will get 21. The next line you are incrementing but after the print. So here also you will get 21 as output. And in the final line where you are printing integer 1, you will see the actual value that is 22. 21, 21, 22. So this is the difference between pre-increment and post-increment. Similarly, for decrement, that is minus minus. If you do minus minus before the variable name, it is pre. Or if you do it after, it is post. That is the sole difference. Now moving on. We have seen the arithmetic operators already. Now relational operators. So relational operators are relative. If A is less than B, if A is greater than B, if A is less than or equals to B, greater than equals to. So double equals to is comparing if A and B are both equal or not. And not equals to is checking if the two variables are not equal. And then we have instance of. So these are all the relational operators. Moving further, we have bitwise operators. So AND symbol is bitwise AND. The exponent symbol is bitwise OR. And the pipe symbol, the single line that you see, is a bitwise inclusive OR. Moving on, logical operators. We have logical AND, which is double AND. And we have logical OR, which is double OR. Two pipes. Okay, so these are the symbols for logical and and logical or. We'll see how we use these all these operators in our further videos when we write loops or conditional statements. We'll make use of all this and you'll get to know these better. Then we have shift operators. Now you might have seen questions on these shift operators. So we have left shift, we have right shift, and we have this final right shift. Now System.out.println if you do a left shift, 10 to, what actually happens is this. 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. That is 10 multiplied by 4, which is 40. So when you do this, you get the output 40. The actual operation performed is this. Similarly, when you do a left shift of 3, you are doing 2 to the power 3. When you do a left shift of 2 again on 20, you are multiplying 20 by 2 to the power of 2 and so on. Similarly, right shift is division. So 10 by in the left shift you saw here was multiplication. When you say right shift, it means division by again 2 to the power 2. If you say 3, then it is 2 to the power 3. Now, there is a difference between right shift and zero fill right shift. 
So if you do 20 right shift 2 or 20 0 fill right shift 2, you get the same output. But for the negative numbers, when you do right shift 2 and when you do 0 fill right shift 2, your output changes. Now this is very interesting that I want you to take a look and check why this difference is coming. Moving on, we also have an operator called ternary operator. Now what this ternary operator is used for, it is represented by a question mark and a colon. So the condition that you want to test is coming before the question mark. If the condition is true, you print A. If the condition is false, you print B. So this ternary operator is used for all these kind of conditions. When you have to test a condition and print A or B depending on the condition is true or false, you can use a ternary operator. All right. So let's quickly see some of those operators. Let's say we have two variables, 20 and B. Now, relational operators, let's say. If we have to check which one is greater, we simply say, a is greater than B. This is how we use relational operators. A is greater than B or not, or A is less than equal to B, or let's say we have to check if A is double equals to B or not, and then perform certain operations. Accordingly, we use these logical operators here. Unary operators we have already seen. Arithmetic operators is again fairly simple. You say system.out.print and just give A plus b this will give you the output 50 so all these operators we'll keep using henceforth in our programs which we further see so we'll see how we use all these operators further down when we write more programs in our upcoming videos until then keep practicing and happy coding